the one thing I could do after I am gone is, is to ensure that the places that have sustained me in my life continue. Leaving a bequest, it's really important to me. It seems the most worthwhile thing I can do is to give that ongoing support. We're sitting on over 100 acres of bushland on our property in the Otways. It's messmate and stringy bark and there's some smooth bark trees in the gullies. There's fern trees, there's a very bushy understory. What's wonderful when you're walking around property like this is you never quite know what you're going to find. And we wander around and see what's in flower, what orchids are happening now, what fungi are out. You know, all those things are really nice to chart the, the changes in the land since we've been there last. And to just be in awe of it. We've recently started putting the camera trap out and it's just been very exciting when we first discovered the, the long-nosed bandicoot on the footage was just glorious to see. Very nice to know they're there. I came across Bush Heritage 30 years ago when it started to actually put endangered land in hands that would take care of it. I thought that was the best idea. So I've been a strong supporter ever since. I have contributed annually and also my partner and I have a bequest in our will of this property and others. I am nothing without these landscapes, without the bush in my life, without Australian landscape in my life. It sustains me, it defines me as a person, as an Australian person. I, I find if there were, wasn't this sort of Australian landscape that I could be part of, then I wouldn't know who I was. I've always felt a connection to the land and just realising how tenuous it all is, how in my lifetime we've lost so much. And um, yeah, it breaks my heart. <laughs> We're at a make or break time in Australia. We really need all the help that can be given. If people were thinking about leaving a gift in their will, I think it's one of the best things you can possibly do for yourself and for the future.